Hello guys, DeathDroid88 back here again with yet another episode of Children of the Nile. In the last episode, we added on a couple more buildings, got a couple more things built up, added another noble here, and then that allowed us to add some more farms. So now we have pretty good uh, food income, so now we can build up the amount of government workers we have. We'll let this resume here. And as you can see, it's harvest season now, and we still have surplus food, so that's one really good thing to have right off the bat. If you don't have that, then you're not able to do much until you get that up. I've found this out. I've played this game a little bit before, and I found that out the hard way, because I would build up a massive city and not have too many farms. And then everyone would riot because there was no food for anyone. And then you see how that guy has food there. And then we don't have any food stored yet, but if we need to, we have that there. So let's see, what else can we do? Um, do have some bricks being made. Though they are working on a statue now, aren't they? We'll let the statue uh, build up. But yeah, we have up to 14 farms now, so that's really good. That'll help out. We also got education going, too. So that'll also allow us to get another... Um, Another one of the priests here soon, and then he can do some other services. Usually I try and have multiple priests at once, up to four. One guy for the temples, one guy for health care, one guy for the mortuary, and then another guy teaching all the time. And that just helps out with everyone, because then everyone doesn't get mad because there's not any service lacking. And what else shall we do? We could probably go to the world level, see if there's any of these uh, explorations we can do. We could do that one there. So we'll send someone that way. And we'll send... Send someone this way. And we do that with our envoys. And that, those also come from educated uh, graduates. So we'll be good there. And then it'll let us know here soon uh, what they found. Now we can go from there. Still working on that little building right there. Hopefully they get that done soon because usually the structures, the statues take a lot more bricks than anything else. And then of course we have the Great Pyramid we eventually have to get to. And we do have cargo drop off points and stuff like that. We might want to put a barge landing in here eventually. But right now we don't have enough food being made per year to do that, so I'm not too worried about that. So it's showing that we got a new site there, and if we go to the world level, it'll show the site here. So we have a trader that can come in, and we also have a basalt core. Those will give us the statues for like the temples and stuff. So then we'll go back here, it should let us know the other one here soon. And that'll just help out with everything. Um, it also helps out a little bit with prestige as you get to, like, as you build certain stuff on the world map. And then see how it's showing us that the Sinai one came back. Um, we can go explore some more, which we don't have enough food for, or we can get a trader that is selling jewelry for perfume. And that also helps out. Eventually, you can do like a market square kind of place. And that'll look like one of these, and essentially the merchants can go in there, set up shop, and then all the nobles can come and talk to them. And those aren't bad things to have. I may put one of those in just as part of the design for the city. So we got bricks being made. So he's making bricks, he's making bricks. May want to add in one or two more, that'll just help us with building stuff, and then we may want to add in more bricklayers. That's usually what I focus on right away. Then also you can build bushes for free too if you feel like it, but we're good right now. We can put bushes pretty much anywhere, I believe. Um, well, I should just add a train in there. That'll make it look a little bit better. Just so it isn't like, oh, we have this massive city and we destroyed all the trees all the way around the city. Which we didn't do, but it still helps out. And if you look over here, you can see how many people are dissatisfied with everything. We only have one family dissatisfied with funerary services because we just killed the pharaoh. Well, we didn't kill him, but he died. And... Alright, so they're going to get this constructed here pretty soon. 
That'll add a little bit to prestige, and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm not quite sure what the first tier of prestige is. Essentially, I just build it really high, just to see where we can get with it. Um, as soon as you build the uh, uh, Great Pyramid, then you'll have a lot of prestige from that, and that'll that'll bump you up a couple ranks as soon as you get that built. That's essentially end game, but you can continue on beyond that point. Now you can see they're constructing the statue here. The cool thing I do like too is you can sort of zoom in and see the construction as it goes. It's a little cool little feature that I sort of like. And as you see, they're getting there slowly with it. And at some point, that'll build up. We'll eventually want to add in more statues around the city. But for now, one or two will help out with prestige a little bit. And prestige does go down after time after you've built a monument, or if you build a lot of the same monument, it will also go down. But you always get prestige, at least one, from building a building. Alright, so they should have this done soon here. There we go. Then you see that little icon there shows us the prestige. Now if we go into the prestige tab here, you can see that statues are giving us two. Propaganda is like if you uh, raise an obelisk or a stele. Tombs are like if you actually build like a tomb and someone uses it. Um, palace is the same. Palace adds to prestige if you build these different additions on. Alright, last harvest we got 458 food. So that shouldn't be... yeah, that's not over the limit of what the baker needs. That's still a pretty good amount of food. These guys are slowly improving their uh, their houses, and that'll help add to prestige. We'll let bricks build up for a little bit, and then we'll build on the wall onto here, because there's a couple of these that you can do for like 25 food, 75 bricks, and we'll do those first, because that'll add a little bit to prestige, and hopefully that'll allow us to build a couple more farms. Now, there weren't any taxes collected, so I'm not really worried about that. We'll get there to the point of collecting taxes. Now, if we look, we have one more envoy. I'm going to wait. I usually wait till about harvest season, just in case I'm running low on food. And then that also allows us, like, with more food, we can do mur murals, um, a garden, and a couple other things. I think the first thing though will probably be the wall that I'll build. Alright. Yeah, is our priest dissatisfied? He is because he doesn't have any common wares, but he's shopping right now. And these guys. When you get to the off seasons, like the flood season, these guys usually that's when they run out of goods. Normally. And when you have the uh, regular season like during harvest or planting, usually these that's when they build up the goods. The only people that don't worry about that are the luxury shops. The luxury shops try and stay stocked all the time. See how common wares is always one thing that they always request. They have more of. So we got one statue. And we're just waiting on bricks to build up now. Let's see what else we can do. We could do more exploration there. If we supply him with food, he'll come. And then... Yeah, we don't really have anything we can do right now. We could probably build a couple more brick makers. That probably would not be a bad idea. Do one there. Can I throw another one over here? That's in floodplain. That's what that little icon on that means. Still can't really put it over here. We'll leave that all for farms. We'll add one for now. Because we're just going to see how far we can get. And then, as you'll see, new brickmaker's on the way. Those guys are digging for clay. We're going to leave the rushes. And we could do taxes, but that's going to make a lot of people angry. We don't really need to do that right now. But as you see, some of these places are going to have a lot of bricks. And there's probably going to be a couple of them that don't have any. No, should have a lot more than that. And I think the maximum each house can hold is like 20 or so. 
So usually I try and keep stuff building all the time. But as you see, a new guy will be moving in here eventually. So you can do the murals and stuff, or the garden, which I don't think I'll worry about that yet. And no one's actually come to get food from this guy yet, so he's had a, he's not had too much of a t hard time keeping up with demand. Usually they'll come at some point and collect food. But for right now, they have plenty of food. And as you see, uh, government workers only use about 100 a year, so we got a decent surplus as of right now. That's even without taxes. So they can attend a feast. Not sure. See, sometimes the nobles get mad like that. Um, they aren't able to attend this, or they aren't able to attend that, or they can't do this or that. And they'll complain about it, which, I mean, it's just nobles being nobles. But even see how over time these do gain some more prestige. That does help out too, because now we have like four. I think ten is the first level, if I'm not incorrect. So these guys are going to keep making bricks. Six. We got a lot ready. That's good. And as soon as you come back, you'll have a lot ready. You're all going to go get gather that, so... And someone did go just get food. A little bit of food. Not too much. And food is essentially the money of this game. These guys have plenty of food right now. And they're only small estates, so... That helps out a lot. And then, of course, the game saving again. This will start to look better as soon as we start improving it. I think the first improvement makes the color of the palace change. Which, I don't think I'm going to deal with that right now because I want to get the wall because they take a lot of bricks. And it's always good to do those right off the bat. Yeah. So you can tell, you can even tell the nobles too exactly what they should grow. So like if you have people that are getting malnourished, you can tell a couple no nobles to specifically grow vegetables or vice versa. But I usually leave them all to where they can just do whatever because I don't care. As long as there's enough food for everyone, we're usually good. And he's still preparing the food there. So these guys, they went and got food. So I think those are the guys that took the food. As you see, a lot of the households already have plenty of food, so that should not be one thing to worry about at all. These guys are making bricks. You're making bricks. And now it's the season of planting. So they're going to start working on fields and stuff. And the other thing you do want to make sure of, too, is to always have a baker or gannery right away because then otherwise the first year you're going to lose out on food which I sort of did but I didn't really have any adverse effects from it initially because I had built up enough to deal with it and these guys I don't feel like we should add a fountain yet quite yet add a wall first and then we can do like fountains and stuff no, no, I think they just keep making them for a while it says bricks for sale, but these are what the government workers use to build stuff with. And that guy doesn't have any bricks ready. He's only got three rushes. Hmm. We have plenty of food. Do we have any more graduates yet? No, we don't. But we do have another envoy. Graduates are usually the harder group of people to get. And then as you see, if you zoom in here, you can see three people are getting taught. Papyrus is the other thing you want to eventually make, because then the scribes will be using that, and it'll help them be a little bit more efficient in their job. But as of right now, I don't really have any need for it. We're almost to the 75 limit, so then these guys can start working on stuff. Because so right now they're just sort of standing around at their house, doing absolutely nothing. And that doesn't really help us, so... Five more, and we should be good to go. And you'll be making, you're making bricks, and you're making bricks, so we should be there pretty soon here. And we'll go through another season here. As you can see, you have essentially wheat, barley, and then some type of vegetable. Vegetable. It's either like lettuce. They have onions too. And I think those are the only two vegetables they grow primarily. And of course you can only have one royal family at a time, but you can have more than one noble at a time. 
And as you see, this says small estate, so they only handle up to four right now. And we have another graduate. So I'm debating if I should build another priest's, priest's house, but I think for now we should be okay. So we'll let bricks build up, and then we can build this here, and then we can work on another house, like like another priest's house. There we go. We'll do the wall, and these guys should almost immediately start heading out. They can only handle about 15 at a time as far as bricks go. But they'll haul them all into there and get it all taken care of. So we'll let them worry about that stuff. These guys, they have 24. So they're going to start building everything up. And if you click on him, you can see he's transporting 10. He's got 10. Not that it matters too much, but... It'll take a little while to get that done, but then... It'll make it look a little bit better. And then that also adds prestige, too, as we had, I had shown you. So I'll walk in there, and we'll walk back out. And you see these guys, they're doing pretty well because they're starting to build some improvements onto their house. Um, they're only small estates still, but as soon as they build several improvements, they'll be a little bit larger. And you have 10. I think 10 is actually the maximum they can handle. I thought it was 15, but I think it's 10. And all the brickworks are happy right now. So we're doing good on that end. How many fields do we have this year? We've got 42 fields, so our fields are slowly improving. Eventually, we're going to hope to get to the point where most of this is all farmland at some point, but we need a lot more farms to do that. Because you can build these massive civilizations. And we got multiple graduates, so we could probably start making a scribe here eventually. That'll help us maximize food. As you see, these guys are getting stuff done. And that guy's going to go home. Sometimes when they have like bad harvests and stuff, they'll want to go to a temple to certain deities. So then you just um, have to have a temple or a shrine to that deity. And it's because, like, sometimes it's because there's a very bad harvest or very bad fertilization. Or sometimes there's a plague or something like that. Usually we don't have to worry about plagues right away. But... Other than that, they should be good to go. Alright, so he's got a bunch of perfumes. So they shouldn't have any issues with getting goods. These guys are just... See, they run towards the end of their food, towards the end of the season. Some of them do. Or they'll build, like, massive improvements and stuff like that. We're almost 50% done. we still got 54 bricks left, so... Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to build... Another priest's house. We'll throw that. Oh, we'll throw that here. We'll have you teach, and then we'll have the other guy do the shrines because then he's a lot closer to teaching. And we'll get rid of that. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to add in a another guy for another noble, so we can add more farms on. But I mean, we got 14 farms now, so that's not too bad. Still got a decent amount of food, too. And they're 80% done, so a couple more loads of bricks and they should be good to go. And I'll slowly build that up, too. Right, so you're good, and you're good. And as you see, the pharaoh's just sort of walking around. You never really get to see the pharaoh other than on that little card, so... Small statue there... At some point they'll build this stuff up. You have five, so you're the final five. And then you're gonna keep working on that, alright, that's good. So we got two graduates right now. It's most likely one in their house, one in their house. Your prestige is and as you see, the prestige rises. And see that we get another guy to work. And it's because our palace just added another five on us. It still only handles six, but that's perfectly fine. We'll actually do the garden too. 
and it'll strain these guys a little bit, but they'll be able to handle it. Alright, so we got a lot of food getting added on here. We still got a decent amount of food from last year. As you see, we're not having anything spoiled. So, most of the food's getting used as we get it. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea after this harvest to send another envoy out. And you don't see that anything gets really exported. Well, this is export due to envoys, but... It should be good otherwise. Garden's not getting completed, but they are still working. There we go. So now they should start working on this. Then we'll probably want to build a temple on and add another noble here. So I'll actually add a noble now. There we go. Someone will eventually get to build that. These guys should maybe, after this harvest season, get a lot of money added on. some odd food, so we're doing pretty good. We'll make you... We're going to have you educate students, and we're going to have you tend the gods. So now we got that going. And we're having it save again here real quick. So now another funeral occurred, so now we'll probably get the complaint that we need more people. Or at least a mortuary. And yeah. So city grew a little bit this time around. We added another brick maker, everything another priest here. This will eventually be occupied. We don't need another educated student yet. He's gonna go tend the gods at a shrine. Now he's gonna go home because he doesn't really have anything else to do. But yeah, all in all, doing pretty well. And um, in the next episode we'll probably try and add on some more farms um, after this noble's here and then after we upgrade the palace a couple more times we'll be able to add more farms on. We'll see how a scribe works, and then we'll just sort of see where it goes from there. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, please like and subscribe to the video, and if you have any ideas as to how I can improve, please comment on the video.